The capacity crisis at local hospitals forces medical staff to get a lot more creative with their space. Here to answer questions, Dr. Ali Raja, Deputy Chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Mass General. Dr. Raja, thanks for joining us, and this just continues to be an issue. It does. Thanks, Erica. All right, Dr. Raja, we know the situation changes every day, every hour, in fact, uh, but there seemed to be maybe a glimmer that we were past the worst of this last week. What's the case today in the ER? Is that the case? Is it holding or are you still treating people kind of all over the place? It's pretty much all over the place, Ben. You know, it's a busy day right now. We've got about 200 patients in our emergency department, which is unfortunately pretty typical these days. Uh, just like a lot of emergency departments all over the country, we are still having to care for patients in hallways. Our acute, our critical care area has about 19 beds, but has over 30 patients right this minute. So the rest of the patients have to be cared for in the hall, which is really what you'd find at any emergency department in Boston right now. Okay, so of course we know many patients have respiratory viruses. They've been going around. Unfortunately, it means lots of coughing, sneezing in all these areas. So is there a worry about the risk of infection? Of course, in the hospital, there's mask usage, obviously, but... Erica, you're absolutely right. That's a worry that all of us have all the time. Now, what we do have now that we didn't have a few years ago is our hospital's masking requirement. And now that most of our patients are comfortable wearing masks, we're really able to limit the spread of a lot of diseases, not just COVID. But if we know that somebody has the flu or somebody has COVID, we can definitely still get them into a closed space. All right, Dr. Raja, you've told us before there are no more beds available for children in the intensive care units. So where do those patients get care? Well, then ideally we can shuffle patients around a little bit and take patients who are getting much better in the ICU and move them to the floor and then make room for newer arrivals. But when that's not possible, we do have to get creative. We can do some of the same interventions that we can do in the ICU on the floor, like giving special medications or doing more intensive monitoring. Like you said earlier, we can get creative, but we wish that we didn't have to. All right, Dr. Ali Raja from Mass General, as always, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Eric and Ben.